My name is John Schenholzer. I'm the president and co-founder of the McShen Foundation here in Richmond, Virginia. We are Virginia's leading authentic recovery community organization that's full service, which means we basically have a 15,000 square foot recovery center open to the public seven days a week. We host over 2,000 social support meetings and groups a week open to the public. We also have 75 recovery residence beds spread out among seven different houses in our community. So we can provide residential recovery living and supports. We also have three different programs here that participants can come to and participate in educational recovery programs. Some of them are pretty intense actually where we can actually provide coaching services and shadowing services. And we also have a direct link to medication assisted detox should you need it as well as psychiatry services. So we do a lot of service providing, recovery su support service providing. We also go down to our local government bodies and try to influence intelligent policies. Also go down to the General Assembly and submit bills to the General Assembly from time to time. And we advocate nationally for increase in recovery support service laws. Simply put, we're a group of recovering people whose sole mission and purpose is to help other people access recovery, to include walk-in interventions at no cost to families and participants, as well as we'll go on location and do these same interventions. Now, a lot of us out there, we know we're in the middle of an opiate epidemic crisis. We feel like the McShen Foundation is certainly the tip of the spear in reducing opiate overdose deaths, meaning we actually provide services for these, these guys suffering from opiate addiction. We go into jails, we have four different jails, local jails that we deliver not only recovery support services, but in two of these jails, we actually have full-time recovery programs inside their, their actual pods. We have recovery pods in the jails, and we provide these services pretty much at no cost to these facilities. We provide over $200,000 a year in these supports to these local institutions. We also have a court referral program up in one of our northern counties, Caroline County, which basically mirrors the drug court, except there is no cost really to the taxpayers. We actually save a county of 30,000 people a quarter million dollars a year in tax dollars. So. When we put our recovering people and our recovery capital to work in our communities, simply put, we decrease recidivism greater than any other known program. We increase public safety better than pretty much anything else we got going on today. We reduce our opiate death rate probably better than any, anything else you're going to see going on. So I think we got a lot of, uh, I know we got a lot on the ball here. So with your help, you know, help McShin, you help our community, real simple. Anyway, that's probably enough for now. Thank you very much.